Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash and hot on the heels of today's Fantasy Life Eye presentation from Level 5 during their Mega Expo presentation on their YouTube channel. I'll put a link to that in the description below just in case you missed it. I've already done a breakdown video and a reaction to all of that. We learned that they are including at least two new lives into the game. Uh, as to what these lives are, we don't know yet. There's plenty of room for speculation. One seems to be a gathering life, while the other one seems to be a crafting life. But today, I kind of wanted to dig into Fantasy Life's roots and look at some lives that actually were conceived and yet canceled. Uh, in fact, the lives weren't the only thing that were canceled. We have a whole Fantasy Life canceled game to look at today. So let's dig in, as the minor life class folks would say. Let's let's dig in, get it? Doug would say it, yes, never mind. Fantasy Life for the Nintendo DS. This article was originally written by Liam Robertson for Unseen 64, Beta, Cancelled, and Unseen Video Games. I'll put a link in the description below to this actual article so you can check it out for yourself and begin digging yourself if you're so inclined. First thing I want to do is take a look at this image. Uh, this appears to be an unreleased image of our beloved title. Very much a promo. We see a lot of familiar faces in this image from the fishing life master to many of the town NPCs in Castell. There's a lot here to study, but more importantly on this page, we understand that Level 5 created a game called Fantasy Life that did actually not see the light of day. It was completely reworked into the 3D fantasy life that we know and love today. Let me explain. Fantasy Life was developed by Level 5 and Brownie Brown and released on Nintendo 3DS in Japan on December 27th, 2012 and was released to the Western Territories later in 2014. However, the game was first planned to be released on the Nintendo DS, a version which was later cancelled. We can actually see from the screenshots here that it would have actually been a 2D top-down RPG kind of game. Everybody in this screenshot is familiar. We see a lot of the NPCs that are in the game, from the fortune teller Lady in Castell to our mining and mercenary life masters. Another screenshot, this time deep within the city of Castell. You can see that the town has quite a bit of a different structure here. And then inside what looks to be the guild office or the building where many of the life masters converge, I can't see them actually having placed all these people together in one building so strangely placed apart from one another. I'm sure this image was composited in engine for a presentation such as to show images of the game to the public but still this building looks like it would have been where you got where you went to actually study your your life trades at least with your blacksmith yeah i see you i see you mercenary life master you're everywhere this next image is the one that interests me the most actually we see conversation here and we see dialogue from somebody named tamer now here's the interesting part tamer is not their name tamer is the name of their life. And it's pretty fair to say that the tamer would be the one on the right, I think, not the left. That would be the farmer. So monster tamer, animal tamer, that's kind of up for interpretation, although she is riding a giant insect like creature. So I would I would say probably at least a combination of the two. We'll get into more proof as to why Tamer would be the, the missing life in this game, or one of the missing lives, I would say, and why it would make sense for that to actually be in Fantasy Live Eye as one of the two unrevealed new lives. Next image, though, first, another shot, this time of what looks to be the grassy plains area. There's Isaac. Even back then, he was fishing. This, uh, this little chef ghost in the corner cracks me up. We're gonna get a better picture of him here soon. Yeah, here we go. I'm not sure that I wanted the better picture. I'm actually kind of uh, creeped out by it. And then finally, we have pictures of several of the lives. What is this in the top right? Well, if you'll remember back from a previous video that I did where I examined the opening movie of the original Fantasy Life 3DS game, we actually had some focus on a lot of characters. The camera would kind of 
pan and zoom in on certain life classes and then you'd get to see the name of that life class you'd see a humorous little scene and then it would go on because it was just overall like a montage of what was going on in the city while it presented all of the different lives to you as a newcomer uh but it actually focused on several characters and it didn't do so for a very short amount of time before moving on these characters didn't get any fanfare they didn't get any text popping up to show who they were or if they had names at all but they were undoubtedly the lives that were in the prototype version of fantasy life so this guy in the upper right is actually the treasure hunter that's right there was a treasure hunter life, at least in planning. Oh, and I didn't even have to say anything about the farmer life right here on the page. This guy is front and center, ready to be noticed. Other early promotional art shows us that we have, indeed, the classes that we know about. Shown here, we have the archer, the magician, the mercenary, the paladin. But what is this in the upper left corner? This seems to be a grouping of combat classes. How can there be a fifth combat class when we only had four? Well... This is one of the prototypical classes, the one of the early lives that just didn't make the cut. This is the adventurer life. We're going to our next page and we can see the alchemist, the carpenter, the blacksmith, the tailor, and in the back, I believe we can see the cook. But the text at the top of this picture, the text at the top of the presentation here, says that there were 20 lives to choose from. 20 ways of life, more specifically. 20 ways of life wait for you, says the text. Five more. This is where things really get interesting. These are gathering classes and we already have the woodcutter, the angler and the miner but here front and center we have the farmer and the scholar classes so this does actually place the farmer squarely in the line of sights for a gathering class i think that that's probably what we're going to see i think that is pretty much a given for fantasy life i that we're going to have the farmer class in that spot comfortably right after the other gathering lives this is pretty much all i need to see to really hedge my bets on that. The Scholar class seems like it would be very interesting to play. The Scholar life, what exactly would you be gathering? I guess you'd be gathering knowledge, right? How would you have done that? And how would the gameplay loop have looked? I'm I'm really interested to know. Would you would you have would you have walked around uh, book mining nodes and and constantly mined information from books the way that you mined uh, rocks? And, and precious ores from different veins and, and outcroppings and the way that you obtained logs from trees? Or would it, have, would it have been more like fishing? You'd go up to a bookshelf and you would struggle to, to pull the knowledge from the book while your character's concentration was uh, at risk of just snapping. I love this idea. I absolutely would have loved to see these two lives in fantasy life. We don't get a fourth image with the last five lives, but we can see what those lives would have been in this listing of unused music. Uh, and it looks like they would have all been the miscellaneous lives, but no less exciting to play. These lives did not fall under crafters, gatherers, or combat lives, but you have the mailman, the merchant, the pilot, the treasure hunter, the fortune teller and the street entertainer. Wait, you have the mailman, the merchant, the pilot, the fortune teller and the street entertainer. And yeah, all of these lives were featured in the opening movie for Fantasy Life, meaning they made it all the way to that stage in production where they were getting that animation wrote and filmed and put together to showcase all of the lives. They were just cut at the end. Now it would make perfect sense if they were cut because of space constraints, because Fantasy Life has a huge amount of data uh, that it has to store in order to keep track of your three save files and all of the different statistics of each one of the lives that you have and all of the quests that you've unlocked throughout the entire world of Fantasy Life and what your up to six houses have in terms of decorations and whether you even own them. Uh, so it, it, it makes sense to me that they had to have been cut for those reasons, but I just would absolutely have loved to see all of these lives in the game. I, I would replay Fantasy Life from minute zero and start with a brand new file if I could do so in a fantasy life that had 20 lives, especially with lives as interesting as these. Street Entertainer. Street Entertainer? Street Entertainer? What? Uh, fortune Teller seems amazing. Fortune Teller seems really, really, really fun. 
Farmer is a whole system all its own. I mean, if it would have included planting seeds, growing things, watering, nurturing plants throughout the day, and maybe included a little bit of rancher responsibilities like raising and taming horses and the like, that would have been amazing. A uh, scholar is in here, scholar and treasure hunter. I don't actually see tamer in here now, uh, but, but tamer did make perfect sense to me. So it's really hard to, to, to figure out where exactly that would have been. Perhaps tamer would have been no, no, it's, it's too much to speculate. Mailman seems like a lot of fun. The mailman is actually the first life that we actually see uh, in the game because they're, they're the ones who have the uh, dialogue where they ready aim fire the letter into your mailbox. And of course, playing as a merchant would have just been pretty amazing. All of these things have gameplay systems that could have been completely structured around them and entirely unique to their life. There's the tamer again in the bottom screen for the 3D version, so it even made it that far before getting cut. Now I'm kind of wondering if tamer and adventurer would have been along the same lines. Maybe, maybe the adventurer class had more of the elements of the tamer, or perhaps it was just a catch-all and you didn't have any particular things tied to the class. It was just a completely casual, no life master, get out there and have fun without worrying so much about restrictions on gear and things like that. This is the street entertainer, by the way. We do see these guys in the game. They do exist. He's playing music and leading a bunch of kids. I think that we've had clues to a bard class by seeing uh, icons and maybe names of instruments that would have been items in the game, but I think that these instruments would have applied to the street entertainer. I think that that is our bard class. One more image of the 20 lives. There we are, bottom left, that's Tamer. That is Tamer, without a doubt. So, okay, so all of these guys aren't life masters necessarily. Uh, we have Isaac instead of the fishing sage, for example. So we know they're not all life masters, but a lot of them are life masters. Uh, but here's our fortune teller. There's our tamer. There's our pilot right here. There's our farmer right next to him. And above the farmer is the street entertainer. Above the street entertainer is the scholar. To the left and then above is what I would imagine is the merchant. All the way to the left, that's our adventurer. And below the adventurer is the mailman. So we've got all of these classes. Where the heck did the tamer fall into all of that? Treasure hunter is top left. And then there he is again on Maybe that's just, maybe maybe adventurer and treasure hunter are synonymous then. Perhaps they use the same terms to refer to, to this singular class, this one life. Well, all of that is extremely interesting, but I wanted to provide a look at the things that I've seen involving the erased lives of fantasy life. And we, knew, we do know that there were more lives in it as well. We do have the mare life, the pirate life. These are lives that the various NPCs can have in the game. But still, I'm gonna end my ranting here. What are your thoughts on the missing lives from Fantasy Life? What do you hope the missing two lives will actually be when Fantasy Life I is released? And would you play as any of the missing lives? Would you enjoy one over the others? How, how would some of these lives play out? How would the street entertainer play out? What do you think you would do as a fortune teller? These are the things that I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. And go check out the original article. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye for now.